This is not financial advice. It's not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only. And everything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all the YouTube algorithm stuff. Just get the videos I put them out. See what I'm thinking. See how I'm analyzing that data. They, they release us, which I tell y'all every day I believe is false. I, be, I believe it's meant to mess with us psychologically to keep us off balance so we make bad trading decisions. Listen. I did a tweet a few, not a tweet, I did a, I did a tweet and a video, but I did a video a few days about, a day ago, a few days ago rather, about the OCCC requesting additional funds because of defaults by these bad actors who've been selling naked call options. And, you know, of course the shills jump in, ah, what is he talking about, blah, 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 but that's what they do, they're shills, I mean criminals that's what they do they, they 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 do criminal shit that's what they do but here's the thing the sec has authorized the occ occ 35 trillion dollars to offset the defaults that they know is coming not 35 billion dollars 35 trillion dollars and you might say, well, $35 trillion is not a lot of money considering it's the, the market. But here's the thing. Prior to today, the limit was $1 billion. The OCC limit for the force was $1 billion. And in the OCC request to... The SEC, they only requested $3 billion, but the SEC authorized $35 trillion. I mean, what does that tell you? It tells me they know that an economic collapse is coming and they do not have the funds to protect the bad actors who have been selling us naked call options for the last two years how do you go from a one billion dollar max you requested three billion dollars but the SEC authorized 35 trillion dollars that's a little scary that tells me how screwed up the market is that tells me that as bad as I thought the economic collapse was going to be, it's going to be a whole lot worse. Because they went from a $1 billion cap to requesting $3 billion, the SEC authorizing $35 trillion. And I wasn't really familiar with how this works, but I, I read the request. I did a little DD. And it seems like banks pension funds and other organizations have an agreement with the OCC, the SEC, that if they need cash, if the OCC needs cash to cover for the defaults of their members, these banking institutions, these pension funds have agreed to give them the cash in exchange for government securities. So, the OCC, under the authority of the SEC, is going to give, like, government bonds and other things to these pension funds, to these banks, in order to get this $35 trillion. But how are we going to determine the worth of these bonds when the market is in such turmoil? Probably another Ponzi scheme waiting to happen and the way it works well the way it works based on what i read the way it works based on what i read is that when the occ turns over the securities to the pension funds to these institutions they have 60 minutes to turn over the cash okay so occ has this prearranged agreement with these pension funds, this prearranged agreement with, with these institutions that 
the SEC, the o, through the OCCC, will give them government bonds. And who determines, who knows how they determine that value? I, I, I don't know. I'm not act, actually sure how that works. But then, within 60 minutes after receiving these government securities, these pension funds, these banking institutions have to turn over the cash to the S to the OCCC. But what makes it more crazy to me is this. Why would they think they need $35 trillion? Why would they think that these bad actors, these hedgies, these criminals, as I would call them, are going to the fault? What do they see on the horizon that they think they're going to need $35 trillion in cash to cover the defaults of these bad actors? And the thing is, the writing is on the wall. And the reasoning, and this is just my opinion, is because the SEC refused to do their job. Had the SEC did their job, had they protected retail investors, had they protected the market, it would have never got so out of control. And right now, the market's so out of control that they need, they went from $1 billion cap, used to be a $1 billion cap on the East OCC for the force. It escalated from $1 billion to $3 billion to now $35 trillion. That tells you that when... AMC, GME, the other mem stocks, the mem stock squeeze, it's going to be really, really ugly. And there's rumors out there that there's trillions, <laughs> and, 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 and listen to me, trillions of counterfeit AMC shares in the market, not billions, trillions. And now that I see that the SEC authorized $35 trillion for the OCCC, I kind of have to agree that that's, there's a high probability that there are trillions of counterfeit AMC shares running around in the market. I have never seen or heard anything like this in my life. And, and, and I, I've, I've been around for a little while, okay? I've been around for a little while. And I've never seen anything like this. They know, they knew rather what the criminals were doing. They allowed it to go down. They closed their eyes to corruption. And that's why we are where we are right now. It's really horrible. And I sent out a tweet and somebody earlier kind of was blaming me for the MOAS. Not for the MOAS, rather, but for the recession. They were blaming me for the recession. They were saying that, why would you put out something like that? Why would you want a recession to happen? And I explained to that person that I didn't cause a recession. I'm just telling you my opinion, my analysis of what I see happening in the market. I said, the, if you want to blame anybody for this recession, you need to blame the SEC for not doing their job. And for, for you to try to blame me, you're saying that I caused the war in Russia, which caused any pr energy prices to, to skyrocket. I caused the housing collapse in China and the bank collapse in China. I caused inflation to be outrageous and for interest rates to go up. The thing is, the shills have nowhere to turn, so they point the fingers at everybody. That's really the bottom line. The shills have nowhere to turn, so they point the fingers at everybody. Listen, I said that there's a high probability of there being a recession. And now that the SEC has authorized $35 trillion to the OCCC for the false on call options, 
the situation is a lot worse than I thought it was. It's a lot worse than I thought it was. Anyway, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff, and tell me what you think about the SEC authorizing the OCC $35 trillion to cover anticipated defaults on call options. Anyway, have a great day. God bless, and I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.